What's up everyone? It's Monica and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be doing a Q&A. So I put on my Instagram poll you guys to ask me questions and I'm just going to be going through them one by one and giving you the answer so you can get to know me a little bit better. Question number one is what have you been doing in quarantine? So at the beginning what I would do is wake up, work out, go outside, go in the pool, tan for like two hours, come back in, probably eat, work out again, and then sleep and do the same thing. And I did that for probably a month. But by now, I only work out once a day, um, which is normal. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go to the beach since it's open now, and then other than that, I'll usually just hang out with my sister, we watch YouTube videos, stuff like that. But yeah, next question is, what languages do you speak? So my first language was French, so I speak French, obviously English, um, a little bit of Spanish, and I'm learning Italian right now. So you can say, mangio il gelato per colazione. <laughs> if you know what that means, comment down below, or if you Google it, comment down below and tell me what it means. So the next question is, where do you go to school? I go to the Florida State University and I love it. And that goes into the next question, which is what am I studying and what's my major? As of now, my major is marketing and I'm in the school of business, so that's what I'm studying. It might change in the future, but for now, I like it. The next question is, how was the college experience? Um, I live about seven, six and a half hours from Florida State, so I definitely went away for college, and I really liked it. I really liked being independent and being able to have the freedom to make my own decisions. I really like that, and I also like how your friends become your family, and you just do everything together. I really enjoy that. Next question is, what do you put in your hair? Um, I like this topic because basically, if you know, having curly hair is a lifelong process of figuring out what works and what doesn't. And I've been through everything in the stores to see what works for my hair. And that's a whole separate video of what I do. But right now, it's simple. I just use conditioner and some argan oil and then I let it dry. Next question is, how many kids do you want? Um, I definitely want a big family. I love kids. I want to say three to four. I don't know. When I have my first one, I'll probably be able to gauge better how many kids I want, but that is not happening anytime soon. But probably three to four. The next one is, what is your ethnicity? If I had a penny for every time someone asked me this, I'd probably not be in college right now. But in my family, you could probably trace our lineage back to every single country in the world. But on my mom's side, we are Haitian and Lebanese. And on my dad's side, I want to say French, German, Haitian, and English. I'm not 100% sure. I hate when people are like, I'm a quarter of this and a quarter of this and one sixteenth this and I just, a little melting pot of everything. I get my eyes and my curly hair from my dad. I'll put a picture of my dad, me and my dad as a baby here and you guys can see we look extremely alike. So the next two questions are kind of similar. They're what is your dream travel destination and what country do you want to visit? So my dream travel destination is probably Bali, just because I've seen pictures and it looks really, really nice. But a country that I want to visit is definitely Greece. I've always wanted to go there. It looks beautiful. So definitely Greece. And yeah, the next question is, what is your astrology sign? Okay, don't come for me. I'm a Gemini. 
And everyone says that Geminis are two-faced, but I don't think that's true. I think anyone can be two-faced, but I am a Gemini. Next question is biggest fear in life. My biggest fear in life, okay, emotionally, probably failure. I think that's a popular one. But physically is probably either being kidnapped or losing my sister. Next is, do you play any sports? I do play sports. I play beach and indoor volleyball, and I've played since I was about nine years old because my dad used to play, so he taught my sister and I, and then we both started playing. But I've played a lot of sports throughout my life. I started with soccer, and then I did dance, if you want to count that. I definitely count dance as a sport. I did cheerleading. I did gymnastics. I think I did swimming. I played a lot of sports, so I do enjoy playing sports. Favorite color. My favorite color is definitely red. I love pretty much all things red. Red hoodies, red phone cases. My phone case is red. Red candy, red pizza, anything. I love red. Favorite pair of shoes you own is the next question. Let me get these. A little background. I really love shoes, but it's a new, it's kind of a new thing that I became interested in because I never really cared that much about my shoes, but I'm definitely working on my shoe collection now. And the next shoes that I want to buy are a pair of Jordan 1s. So if any of you have a shoe club, I'm looking for some Jordan 1s. But my favorite pair of shoes has to be these, the CDGs, red, as you can see. But yeah, for sure, this is my favorite pair of shoes that I own. I wear them every chance I get. The next question is, what are you passionate about? Deep questions make me nervous. Um, I'm passionate about my family, my friends. I'm passionate about staying healthy. I love working out, I'm passionate about that. Okay, and the last question is, my favorite show on Netflix. Um, my favorite show on Netflix has to be Avatar The Last Airbender. They just put this on Netflix a few, maybe a few months ago, something like that. But it's been my favorite show since I was little. And I don't know. I think that's my favorite show on Netflix. I also love Last Chance You. I really like that show too. So... That is the end of all the questions. If you have any more, just comment down below. You can also comment your favorite color. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.